Hi there, in this uh, video I'm going to talk about uh, what are the differences between uh, the two main uh, image uh, formats uh, which are uh, SVG and uh, PNG. So uh, let's start with, uh, with PNG. So PNG it means that uh, the image that you're going to process uh, is going to be made up of uh, pixel. So in this uh, example, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an image with a PNG and another one with SVG. I'm going to print uh, the two and you're going to see the, the difference. So PNG means that uh, the image is made of pixels. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to, um, going to move to 30 here. I'm going to write uh, Floss Marketing School. So Floss Marketing School. Um, probably I'm gonna get, make it even even bigger i'm gonna put it like get 45 not 50 okay let's go for 50. so 50 and uh, i'm gonna just uh yep i'm gonna just put it here right in the center and uh, if i zoom okay as you can see i'm clearly seeing those different pixel uh which are which are pairing. So if I just, as you can see here, if I zoom a little bit, I will see that I get some pixel. If I do exactly the same thing, so this uh, is going to be a PNG file. So I'm going to export it. I'm going to make it as a PNG. So put it as a PNG. Um, do 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 PNG file. Could put it as a JPEG, but floss, floss. Whoops, sorry for that plus.png and I'm gonna do exactly uh, the same thing so I'm gonna print this out okay so print it yep okay I'm gonna print this one in a4 a4 okay all good and I'm gonna do exactly the same thing but with inscape so with inscape if I'm in inscape and we say it's 50 uh, we said 50, so I'm going to put it like, uh, okay, get 50, uh, 56, put it like 48, doesn't really matter in fact because it's, um, it's uh, so Inkscape is in SVG format, so it's going to be fine anyway. So uh, here I'm going to just uh, move it like this and put it over here. Okay, and um, here as you can see, if I zoom up, on my page, I'm not gonna get any any pixel at all, uh, which is uh, which is great, uh, because Inkscape is dealing with SVG, so scalable vector graphics. So it means that it's uh, made of paths and calculation. There are no uh, pixel involved there. And I'm gonna uh, print this one as well. So I'm gonna print it like this. Okay, go. Um, and what's gonna happen is if I save this file, so save as, I'm gonna call it like floss2. You will see floss2. Plus, plus Oops, sorry for that. Uh, so we said floss2. Floss, well, it doesn't really matter. I made it anyway. Um, and if I look, you see at this given file and I open it up with a text editor. Okay, it's gonna tell me, okay, this file, da da da, PNG, uh, does not look like uh, a, a text file, so I cannot open it up. And if I do the same thing with the SVG, you will see that actually it's gonna, um, it's gonna make it. So here is my file. And as you can see, when I open my SVG file, I get in fact all the different uh, coordinates and calculations which are made in order to make uh, in fact this uh, given file that I was showing you. So that's uh, the, the main difference between those two is that the way the image is made of. So you can imagine for example that SVG won't be uh, applicable all the time. So for example if you take a picture in the street uh, the image software is not able to make all those calculations and tell you how the shapes are made. However, if uh, you have something to create, it's always better to do it in SVG as uh, you will not lose any uh, quality at all and as you can change as well uh, the path of the different objects. So for example here, if I select uh, the, different, uh, the different shape of my, um, of my, 
um, of my SVG here, I could change the shape of the S and, and so on and so forth, things that I cannot do with a PNG format. Okay, uh, let's uh, go and take those. Just a second. Okay, and uh, now let's uh, let's move it this way. Okay, so um, that's the one that I made with uh, GIMP. So the one with PNG, and as you can see, used if if I zoom, you can start to see the little square around uh, the different uh, letters, which of course uh, look ugly. And uh, that's the one that I made with Inkscape, and as you can see, there's no little square at all. Okay, so I could technically uh, print this uh, given document and like making it the size of a of a full flat, for example, of of a car, of whatever, of a big big size. Uh, it wouldn't matter. Whereas actually, if I was taking a PNG file and that I was increasing the size of this given image, it would have looked, um, of course, uglier and uglier the more I zoom into it. So, uh, if you have one thing to uh, remember, is that if uh, you are uh, dealing with uh, with a picture that you have taken, well, of course you will stay in, in PNG because uh, there's no calculation yet. But if you have to create something from scratch, it's far better to use PNG rather than Pixel. If not, uh, you will see that uh, when you want, for example, to uh, to print it, uh, when you want to increase the size, when you want to to work on it, there are many things uh, that you can do and that the uh, quality of the image will be uh, not that good. Hope you enjoy uh, this video and that you understood the differences between uh, PNG and uh, SVG. Thanks for watching.